Welcome to our lecture online. Here are our next problem on the JEE main physics test. It looks pretty easy on the surface. Is it easy to accomplish? Is it easy to work it out? Well, let's find out. It deals with one dimensional motion. So that's one of the most principal concepts that you'll encounter in any physics books right at the beginning of the book. The problem says an engine of a train moving with uniform acceleration passes the signal post with velocity u and the last compartment with velocity v. The velocity at which the middle point of the train passes, and I think I'm missing an s there, passes the signal post is, and they give us four possible answers. Now, the reason why it's deceiving is you would say, well, wait a minute, if the beginning of the train passes the post with velocity u and the end of the train with velocity v and now we want to know the velocity in the middle of the train, this is simply the average so the average would simply be the sum of the two divided by two, answer d but it turns out that's not the correct answer because it's not a linear thing there's uniform acceleration and because of that we can't use that technique to solve the problem instead we're going to have to use the equations of kinematics and in particular one of the three equations of kinematics. So just for getting us oriented to what the principles are here, let's write down the three equations of kinematics. The first one is x equals x sub naught plus v sub naught times t plus one half a t squared. The second equation is v equals v sub naught plus a t. And the third equation is v squared equals v initial squared plus two a times delta x. And the equation that we should be using out of those three, since we don't know anything about the time, is equation number three. That's going to be the equation that's going to help us solve this problem. Now notice we're trying to find the velocity of the middle of the train with respect to the velocity of the beginning and the end in terms of v and u. And all the answers are of course in terms of v and u. So let's go ahead and apply this equation. So v squared, that's the final velocity squared. Well, what we want to do now is the velocity in the middle. So let's use v sub m as the velocity in the middle to help us out. So that would be, so to speak, the final velocity. So here we can write velocity of the middle of the train squared is equal to the initial velocity squared. Well, we start with u, u squared, and plus 2 times acceleration, times the amount of the length of the train that has gone by. Well, the length of the train has gone by would be L over 2. All right, that should work, right? So the velocity when the middle of the train passes squared equals the velocity in the beginning, when the engine passes squared plus 2 times acceleration, times the amount of length of the train, it would be half the train, has gone by. But notice that none of the answers include A and L. So somehow we have to eliminate that. So what we could also do is as follows. We can say, well, the velocity at the end of the train squared equals the velocity in the beginning of the train squared plus 2A times L. So what we can see here is that a times l, if we solve for a times l, because of course the twos cancel out, we can see that a times l is equal to v squared minus u squared divided by two. So this can replace a times l in that equation. So now what we can do is the following. We can say that velocity squared in the middle of the train is equal to u squared, and of course the twos cancel out, like this, and a times l can be written as v squared over 2 minus u squared over 2. And now all I have to do is simplify that to find the velocity of the middle of the train. So notice I have a u squared and a minus a half u squared, so this becomes v middle of the train squared is equal to, I'm going to pull this one forward, v squared over 2 plus u squared over 2. Because u squared minus u squared over 2 is simply u squared over 2. And then I can take the square root of both sides, so v 
of the middle of the train is equal to the square root. I can factor out a one half, so put the two over there, and end up with v squared plus u squared in the numerator. And that is the velocity at the middle of the train in terms of v and u. Is there an answer that gives us that? Sure enough, answer C is that exact answer. And so that has to be the answer you want to mark. And that is how it's done. So again, the principle of the deal here, here is that we're dealing with one-dimensional motion that involves the three equation kinematics. Since we don't know anything about the time, we're going to go for the third equation. We use the third equation. Let's replace V with V of the middle of the train to kind of get our heads around what we're trying to solve. So that means that the V of the middle of the train squared equals the initial velocity, which is U squared, plus 2A times the half length of the train because we want to know the velocity at the middle. But then we're stuck with A times L. So what we can do is we can then find, use the same equation, but now we use it for the end of the train. The velocity at the end of the train equals the velocity at the beginning of the train plus 2A times the full length of the train. So now AL can be expressed in terms of that. That then can be substituted in here, and now we end up with this equals u squared plus v squared over 2 minus u squared over 2, and then we simplify. And that is how it's done. Now, is there a shortcut method to this?